Blessed evening to each and everyone. Yung topic ko, ayaw ko masyadong pag-usapan natin eh. Pero kailangan siguro, ano ho, tingnan niyo yung katabi niyo. <laughs> Nangita niyo si Lord sa katabi niyo? Yes! Yeah. Pwede kayo magbulong ng magandang bagay na alam natin ayon sa kalooban ng Diyos para doon sa tao na yun. Ano man dumating sa isip mo para doon sa katabi mo, pwede mo bang ibulong yun ng maayos at ma... Huwag mo lang... <laughs> No? Walang biro ito. Kung ano'y bubulong mo, ayon sa kalooban ng Diyos. Ano ho? Kaya, pag-isipan niyo mo po, titigyan ko kayo ng mga 5 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yan po. May pagbilang ko ng tatlo, bubulong ninyo sa katabi ninyo. Ha? Yan, kalooban ng Diyos. Ayon sa kalooban ng Diyos na gustong ipaabot doon sa katabi ninyo. Okay. <laughs> oh, masyado sa'yo seryoso. Di ba sa'yo matatay na seryoso? Delikado yan, ano? Okay, one, two, three, go! Ikaw, pili sa mga pangkis eh. Hello, good job! Okay. Ano sabi niyo ba? Okay. Happy thank you yung nagbulong sa inyo. Yan, makatanggapin kayo ng thank you. Alam niyo ba ho talaga ba? Ang galing. Gusto nyo magbulong ng kalimunyuhan? Wala. Wala naman. Sigurin ko po rin po sa bawat isa sa inyo. Bago, bago tayo mag-usap tungkol sa standing up against the devil. Ang unang tanong ko po, do you know well who the devil is? Alam ba natin? Paano? Pero ba mga kasagot? Paano mo alam ang demonyo? Akala ko ba, oo. Oh, oh. Ano? Who the devil is? Kasi ang demonyo, hindi po yung totoo yun. Ay, yung nagpapakita siya na, ano, na may sungay, may pakpak ng paniki, may buntot. Yung demonyo, magpapakita siya na hindi ganon. Magpapakita siya na magagandang kaapit-apit ng mga bagay. Mga, mga tinig na pag narinig mo, talagang, wow! Don't you wish your girlfriend is fat like me? Don't you wish your girlfriend, diba, boyfriend, is macho like me na? Eh, meron ka ng relationship, diba? May commitment ka, ha? Nihila ka, oy, lumapit. Kung gusto mo, yeah! Hindi, hindi ganun ang demonyo. Hindi magpapakita sa'yo ng pangit. Pero ang problema dito, ito. Kung kilala natin ang demonyo, Definitely, makikilala natin siya by having to know better the opposite. No other than the one that really, we really belong to. Amen? Amen. Sa ating Panginoon. Kaya, siguro, may papasahin lang ako isang buong chapter para sa inyo. Pakinggan lang ninyo ako, ha? On uh, second letter of Peter. Chapter 1, verse 3 to 15. Okay. God's divine power has given us everything we need to live a truly religious life through our knowledge of the one who called us to share in his own glory and goodness. In his way, he has given us the very great and precious gifts he promised so that by means, by means of these gifts, you may escape from the destructive lust that is in the world and may come to share in the divine nature yeah. because we are in the world hindi perfect po ang divine nature natin we live in this imperfection both of body and everything that is moved although this is God's creation he has to sacrifice yung tinatawag niyang ano po eh Yung perfection, bakit? Kasi he, we, he has to make us his image and likeness. And one predominant image of God is freedom, free will. Nung binigay niya yun, doon na nagkagulog-gulo ang lahat. Doon ako nagsimula lahat ng pagkalito-lito natin at doon na rin po nagsimula ang lahat ng, ng kasiraan at kamatayan because we 
are given that same freedom, that free will. Ngayon, yung sinasabi nating topic po for today is our way of having to be guided on what choices we will have to make in order that our freedom may bring us closer to God's divine nature. At lalo tayo magpagapit sa Diyos. For this very reason, do your best to add goodness to your faith, even though it's a master seed. Kahit gaano kalit, talagang kailangan natin kahit maliit na faith. Bakit? Kasi pag nawala yung faith na yon, yung light na nag-guide sa atin towards that direction to be able to arrive to the kingdom, the fullness of the kingdom, of God here on earth and unto heaven may find ourselves lost in return. Kaya, the goodness to your faith, to your goodness and add knowledge, to your knowledge at self-control. Maganda po ito, di ba? Sinasabi na po sa atin na sa atin na yung kapangyarihan. Siyempre, yung kapangyarihan na yun comes with responsibility. You add goodness to your faith, Maging ang faith mo, hindi pasit. Hindi. Kaya mali po yung sinasabi nilang, ano eh, okay lang yung maniwala ka na lang to, to, our, uh, to Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Pag sinabi natin goodness, ibig sabihin, projected, expressed, and active. Di ba? Which means to be found in our actions, in relationship. And to your goodness, add knowledge. To your knowledge, add self-control. And to yourself, control at endurance. To your endurance, at godliness. To your godliness, at Christian affection. And to your Christian affection, at love. Kunin niyo po ito ha, sa second letter of Peter. Chapter 1, verse 3 to 15. Nakakatuwa na ano Natutuwa ba kayo? These are the qualities you need and if you have them in abundance, they will make you active and effective in your knowledge of your Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. Parang every time na meron tayong ginagawa na magandang bagay as to sinabi nga dito as to faith, as to uh, good God, goodness as to knowledge and as to endurance, self-control, and lahat ng yun, doon unti-unti natin nakikilala si Jesus Christ sa ating buhay. Sa ating buhay. Hindi po siya pwedeng luya. Yung mga ano na yan, pinapakita po sa atin that in this way, we can effectively and efficiently know Christ in our life kasi ihahambing natin yan sa buhay natin. Mamaya may mga tanong ako. Kayo rin, pwede kayong magtanong. But if you do not have them, you are so short-sighted that you cannot see and have forgotten that you have been purified from your past sins. Hindi hindi ano po yung sinabi ko? Hindi nyo alam Yung ginagawa niyo magagandang bagay, yung ginagawa niyo mabubuting bagay, is purifying you. While God automatically brings His merciful love to you. Alam niyo po kasi gagawin sa inyo ng demonyo, although nag-advance na ako ng salita, dapat step by step. Okay. Pero sasabihin ko lang po sa inyo, si Lord, nandiyan dyan yung mercy niya, isa yun sa mga powers. Bakit? Ang demonyo, he would always make you look at your past with regrets. He will make you look at your past with anger. He will make you look at your past with all your sins. He will make you look at your past with all your, yung mga kabalututan, kademonyuhan. Na siya rin mismo ang gumawa. Alam niya, if there is one thing that we know about the devil, he knows you better. Tanda mo yan. He knows you better than you know yourself. Si sister, may sakit ka ba sa puso? Maraming salamat sa Diyos. Ito lang po sasabihin ko po, he knows you better. At ayun ang ibubulong niya sa'yo. 
and he knows your friend better. Kaya ibubulong niya rin sa'yo, ay bakit ka na bakit yung friend ko nagsasalita dyan sa harapan about God? Kilala ko yan eh. Yung mga ano yan eh, kalukuhan yan eh. Ay kilala ko yan noon. Sasabihin sa'yo, sasabihin sa'yo, at ipapabulong pa sa'yo, nasabihin mo rin sa ibang tao yun. Kaya nauso ang chismis eh. Kaya nauso yung backbiting. Kaya nauso lahat ng mga pwede natin sabihin makes us feel so good that there is somebody worse than we are. Kaya ako, pinangunahan ko na kayo noong pa. Sinabi ko gagad sa'yo, itong tao sa harapan ninyo, hindi nyo mapagkakatiwalaan ko na. Ba't kayo nagkikinig sa akin? <laughs> na ako noon, meron ako mga kasalanan. Na ako noon, basang ulo ko noon. Na noon, ako po ay pag, pag ano, hindi naging tunay na kaibigan. At sasabihin ko lahat sa inyo na gagamitin ito laban sa akin ng demonyo. In my faith, in my endurance, in my self-control. Napadoon niyo po yung the right. Anthony Hopkins. Kung may oras kayo, panoorin niyo nang pero dapat may kasama kayo. Baka sigaw ka ng sigaw, wala makarinig sa iyo. <laughs> pero alam mo po talagang na, yun ang real kasi tutulay story yun eh. Ang nakalaban niya po, hindi basta-basta ng demonyo. Baal ang pangalan. Nasa first reading ng araw na ito. Siya nga pala po, Happy Feast of St. Anthony of Padua. Pero bang nawawala sa inyo, ikasal niyo po ngayon. Makikita niyo po. Sa oras na ito, sinasabi ko sa atin ng ating Panginoon na lahat ng kailangan natin Nandiyan dyan na po. Nandiyan dyan na po yung kapangyarihan. Ang problema po dito, mas kilala nga tayo ng demonyo eh. Tingnan mo yung katabi mo. Kaibigan mo ba yung katabi mo? Amen. May alam siya sa'yo, di ba? Amen. Nag-open nag, nag up ka na sa kanya, di ba? Amen. Parang yung ngiti pa ninyo. <laughs> di, pero totoo po niya. This is the moment from which we come to act now in goodness. Bakit? Kasi hindi lang siguro na ako ang pupunteryahin pupunteryahin ng, ng demonyo. Yung kaibigan ko, yung sister ko, yung brother ko, yan ang pupunteryahin ng demonyo. At baka ako ang instrumento niya. Totoo po yun. For, for example, ngayon, may, kasi galing ako sa isang recollection, eh, siyempre, hindi ko naman pwedeng ano po, pilitin sa lahat ng mga tao. In that short recollection, may mga tao na, yung para bang, kukinig ka naman. Yung may ginagawa siya na ano, yung para bang, yung tao dito, Twitter. Hindi naman siya, ano, hindi naman siya katoliko kasi. Hindi ko na sabihin, I don't go to, I don't want to go to specifics. Tapos pero, <laughs> Ba't ko hindi kinig dyan? Eh, ah, halos araw-araw kami nagbabaybon. No, sabi niya ang gano'n. Naririnig ko yun. <laughs> Abang nagtotop ako. Ay, sabi ko, tanana dyan yata. Pero sabi ko, hindi ko ba alam yung sinasabi niya during that time, at that very moment, distracting and still there, sitting down and showing her contradiction. At yung pinapakita niya sa katabi niya is affecting the place, the environment is really affecting to the point how is it affecting the faith of the people during that time. Okay, sabi mo, mas magaling ka nga sa Bible. Oo, oh, sabi natin, mas magaling ka nga, mas marami kang alam. Yung alam mo, yung galing mo, natutulungan mo ba yung buong community, mailapin silang lahat sa pagmamahalan, sa pagbibigay ng example at modelship. Sabi nga, may kasama yan goodness, may kasama yan endurance self-control, may kasama yan love. May, may kasama yung affection. May kasama yung understanding. Pero minsan, ang demonyo, gagawin niya yung parang sabihin niya, hindi, di ba mas magaling ka dyan? Bakit ka nagsasalita ng ganyan? No? Pakita mo nga. Pakita mo hindi ka interested. Pakita mo nga itong, ay, wala akong problema sa inyo. Wala akong problema sa inyo. Matyaga kayo sa akin. <laughs> Pero yung misa yung sinasabi, gusto ko sabihin, misa sa misa, so sad, is that we only spend a little time with the Lord and we could not even show to Him our divine nature. Why? 
we lose the strategy. At the strategy, only God can give you. Ito lang amin ko, papangunahan ko na kayo ha. Walang strategy mag-work sa sarili nating kakayanan. Mas magaling sa atin si David. Wala ho na sa anong galing ako, pare, tatlong exorcism na nakaharap ko. Um, umusog ako, umatras ako. Assistance pa lang yun, ginagawa ko. I was assisting an exorcist. Alam mo ba yung tura ng demonyo sa mata? Ang tura ng demonyo sa mata, alam mo malalim, alam mo wala. Parang blanco, pero pag nakatingin sa'yo, susunin sa'yo. Parang, alam mo, pangit yung nakikita mo kasi wala eh, patay eh. Ang lalim, madilim, madilim yung... Pero nakikita mo sa exorcise, uh, ano, person who is possessed, habang in exercise, wala talaga. Yung buong kadiliman nakikita mo sa mata, pero yung nanginihikahit pa rin ka pa rin sa sabi. Ang anong ba? Para sabi ko, hmm. <laughs> Alam niyo po, automatic, yung parang kong pakiramdam ko, yung buong balahibo ko, tumatayo ng diretso. No? At parang pang naka-gen. <laughs> no? So, tumasok ka sa isang exorcism. Or iba na, sino ba ako naka-experience ng casting out? Pag naka-experience ng casting out, sa akin kasi talagang yung, yung balahibo ko, tumatayo for more than an hour ang goosebumps na tuloy-tuloy. Alam mo na ang kaharap mo hindi na tao. Pero ang tunay na demonyo, he's a tempter, he's a deceiver, he's that, that, I don't say person, he's that entity na aaminin ko po sa inyo will take you over the least moment you expect and you are on guard on it. Kaya sinasabi ko lang po ito sa inyo dahil wala kong pwede makatalo sa demonyo kung hindi ang ating Diyos. Diyos na kayo, we profess Him. We profess Him so sana every day of our lives. We profess Him every moment we embrace Him by making the sign of the cross. We don't take that for granted po. Dahil aminin ko rin po sa oras na ito, the devil can easily dissuade you. May bumubulong na dito. Pagod ka, hindi ba? Kung mag-lip ka, hindi ka mapapansin, Father, naka-spotlight siya. Tumot na, tayo na na. Bigyan kita one minute. Sige, one minute lang, pigit mo. So, huwag kayo man kayo masyadong okay, ano sa bago, dinilimonyo ka na ako. It will take so much effort also from the devil to take away our choice for God here in this place. Amen? Talagang so much amount of power ng demonyo para ma-overcome ka. So then, my friends, try even harder to make God's call His choice of you a permanent experience. If you do so, you will never abandon your faith. In this way, you will be given the full right to enter the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And so, I will always remind you of these matters even though you already know them and are firmly grounded in the truth you have received. I think it only right for me to stir up your memory of these matters as long as I am still alive. I know that I shall soon be put off in this mortal body as our Lord Jesus Christ plainly told me. I will do my best then to provide a way for you to remember these matters at all times after my death. This from which Peter was trying to emphasize, he is leaving. He is leaving because he has to come to the Father and that is the one thing that the devil doesn't want you to experience or do. Going back to the Father. Alam nyo po, lahat ng experience ko, 
sa anointing of the dying. Nag, alam niyo po, huwag maniwala kayo hindi tumatay ito, nagbalay po po. Yung taunting, kinotaunt yung dying, lalo na pag yung painful yung dying moment, yung, yung cancer. Sino po dito merong kamag-anak or loved one na who was dying of cancer and already passed away? Yung nasubaybayan nyo. Kung kumikirot, ikaw rin, parang kumikirot ka sa emotions mo, lahat. Parang nagtetremble ka rin, o kaibigan. Minsan di mo matiis, bakit ginagawa ni Lord? Yan yung natatanong ka na, bakit ginawa ni Lord yan? Bakit, bakit inayaan ni Lord, maghirap? Eh, ang, ang bait-bait naman itong tao na ito. Alam niyo po, yung time na yun, hindi ikaw yung nagsasalita yun eh. Alam niyo sino? David, because that is his last moment to take you out from that direction of coming to that moment of the kingdom. Kasi hindi natin alam kung ano yung great, magnificent, wonderful moment na yun. Kaya ano kung ginagawa niya, naglalas ano siya, naglalas throw, naglalas try, naglalas lahat ang last na pwede niyang gamitin. Yung mga huling granada niya, hinahagis niya na doon sa namamatay. At yun mismo na itatanong ng ano, tuloy, Lord, bakit totoo ka ba? May kapangyarihan ka ba? Ganon, sasabihin mo sa sarili mo at sa doon sa namamatay, di ba? And that is from which we come to understand the only thing that could really, alam niyo po yung tao na nag-triumph sa kanyang sakit before the person dies, nagkakaroon siya ng hour of peace. Nakaroon ko siya ng hour of peace. Kaya lang, humingin na siya, tapos tumatahin ko na lang. Sabihin, ano na siya ni Lord? Akin na yan. Pupunin ko na yan. Meron yung mga tao hanggang mamatay, yung tulad yung nakahawak sa akin. Doon lang nang tawag ng pare, after so many years, nakahawak sa akin na ayaw bumitaw, ayaw bumitaw. Tunod ko talagang, lumumunta na yung kamay ko. Ang laki-laki ng kamay ko. Nakapit, nakaarapit siya. Parang gusto niya ako isama. <laughs> Doon sa ano, pangyayari na yun, sabi ko, parang ginagalong ko na yung daliri niya. Sabi, sabi ko, bak tumigas ito, patay ako. No? Kasama ako hanggang morgue. No? <laughs> Pero alam mo, may time na yun, talaga ano, nakikita ko yung taunting. And you you prepare yourself for that with great prayer in your, in your life. Sabi nga, make it your life to be in, with the Lord. Kaya nga, put on the armor, di ba, Ephesians 6. Verse 11, put on the armor of God, but not only in this very moment, not only when you're reminded, but every day of your life. Because the devil is one that will continue. Hindi siya tumigil sa isang temptation kay Jesus. So, Matthew 4, hindi siya tumigil sa isang temptation kay Jesus. Tatlo ang binira niya. Mamaya, basahin natin yan. But just for me to to tell you, bawat isa sa atin is a primary target of the devil. Bawat isa sa atin is a primary, uh, sabi na lang natin, mission of the devil. Bakit? Hindi ito kayo eh. At ito lang sasabihin ko, madalas yung mga nandito, may expectation kay kay Lord, di ba? Yun po, ito lang po sasabihin ko rin po sa inyo. If you want to say you stand against the devil, you have to know where God is in your life. Know. Di ba? Know, love, and serve the Lord. Yung know, mastery ng devil yan. Yung love, wala siya. Service, wala siya. Tayo lang ang pwede gumawa ng tatlo. Ay lang pwedeng gumawa ng tatlo na kinakatakutan niya. Kaya bilit niya mo yung binawatak yun. Bilit yung sinisira yun sa atin. Sa relationships natin. Especially as you are workers of the Lord. Hindi niya kasi kayang gawin yung love. No? Di ba nare-recognize siya in all, all the New Testament no? sa readings from Mark, Matthew, pag may, pos- may possess. Ano yun? I know you. You are the son of the living God. Na, nagsasabi niya yun, na-propress niya yun, pero wala yung affection. Wala yung puso doon. At isa pa hindi niya pwedeng gawin to serve. Kasi ito po yung temptation.
if you would, if you have a Bible with you, you turn to Matthew 4, verse 1, up to 10. Okay, well. Then the Spirit led Jesus into the desert to be tempted by the devil. After spending 40 days and nights without food, Jesus was hungry. Yun po yung weakness na binigay sa kanya. He was hungry. And the devil came to him and said, If you are God's son, order these stones to turn into bread. Ano sagot ni Jesus? Alam niya na, demonyo kaharap niya, ha? Okay. But Jesus answered, The scripture says, Human beings cannot live on bread alone, but need every word that God speaks or everything that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took Jesus to Jerusalem, the holy city, set him on the high, highest point of the temple and said to him, If you are God's son, throw yourself down. From, for scripture says, God will give orders to his angels about you, and they will hold you up with their hands, so that not even your feet will be hurt on the stone. Jesus answered, But the scripture also says, do not put the Lord your God to the test. Simple lang po ano po. Ibig sabihin, pag tinagdagan mo pa yun, na matalino, matalino ang demonyo to the point that the devil in his last ride took Jesus to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in their greatness. All this I will give you, the devil said, if you kneel down and worship. At alam niyo bakit sinabi niya ito? Kasi hindi niya magawa yung kayang gawin ng tao. Alam mo bakit may anghel? Ang purpose ng anghel, bago dumating ang tao, is the thing that God cannot do for Himself to worship Himself. The angels, automatically, by great cosmic logic, would tell you, if there is a God, He should be worshipped. And the angels were the first heavenly entities to worship Him because He cannot worship Himself. And the devil, who was damned and condemned, had to be away and separated from that purpose. Kaya lahat ng, ng ano, kapalitara ng Diyos na sa demonyo. And he tries to nurture that in ourselves. Anong sagot ni Jesus? Go away, Satan. The scripture says, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Then the devil that Jesus and the angels, ayun po, naghihintay lang pala yung mga angels, help him. Para sa bawat isa po sa ating mga minamagong kapatid, lagi natin nabasa yun sa John, sa Matthew, di ba pati yung sa, sa Mark, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Ayun ang, yun ang reason bakit may three temptations. The way. The way of God is not the way of the devil. You cannot just turn stones into bread. No. You cannot live by bread alone. That is not the way. You will have to live for the bread of life. In the bread of life. Hindi yung stones into bread. Stones are inanimate objects that you can just turn into bread. That is not going to give you life. Kaya minsan ng mga tao na natili sa pinapay lang, namubuhay sila sa pera lang, namubuhay sila sa material na bagay na ginawang bread ng ating materialistic world. And that becomes their way. Alam niyo po, kung, di ba? You live by the sword, you die by the sword. Pag ikaw, ang puso mo, ang treasure mo, nasa pera, doon ang ano mo eh. Doon ka nagiging matalino, doon ka maging puso. Kahit naging natuto ka ng napakatinding, dignified, no, decent course in any course, tapos ginagpag ang habol mo pera, sundalo nga eh. Ano mo po sa kanila? Anong code nila? Country, God, and honor. Honor, country, and God. Ano? Nangyari sa kanila? Puros conversion. Ano nangyari? Hindi sila na-convert. Yung pera lang. They converted the money that was good for the people into their own pockets. 
Yun lang po, sabihin ko lang po, kung nasaan ang puso natin, doon lagi nakatuon yan. And if you know where it's leading you, you know also where it's going to end you up with. That is not God's way. God wants you to have a higher purpose. God wants you to experience more than that what your body can experience. Ang purpose, kunyari, nagugutong ka ngayon, pag sinabi pa nito, tumang-fasting ka, kasi alam niya, yung katawan mo can endure more, can attain more. May diet ka pa. Libre. No? Yung way ni Lord, hindi yung way ng devil. That is not the way of the world. Kaya, Jesus is the way. His body, His blood. Now, the truth. Ginamit ng, ano, ng demonyo, yung Hindi ba, if I put you in that temple, magpa, magpatayulog ka, sasaluhin ka ng mga ngayon, di ba, as scripture says, sabi ni Jesus, ayun ang problema sa inyo, ginagamit nyo, pati salita ng Diyos, binabaliktad ninyo, tinitiklop-tiklop ninyo, pinaglalaroan ninyo yung salita ng Diyos, simple lang naman yun eh. No? Anong sabi ni Lord? Ano sabi ni Lord? Sabi nga. Sa kanya lang malapit ang mic. Ah, huwag subukin mo. Eh, huwag mo subukin ng Panginoon. Huwag mo susubukin ng Panginoon. Huwag mo sasabihin mas magaling ka kay Lord. Ang tao ngayon, kaya niya nang ano, umikot sa faith niya, no? Pwede niya i-manipulate yung faith niya. Pero meron nga sa akin, di ba? At may ko na yata sa inyo. Lumapit sa akin, sa hospital ako ayaw sa Sistine Chaplin. And yun ang lapaglapit sa akin, sabi niya, Father, pagdasan mo ako sa Diyos mo. <laughs> Diyos ko lang. Eh, ma-operahan siya. Queen People, bypass. Hindi ko nababangin yung pangalang kilala niyo yun. Sabi niya, bibigyan kita ng malaking halaga. Tour mo sa asang pati ng Pilipinas, patatayo ako kita ng seminaryo. Sabi ko, patay ka. Mamamatay ka. <laughs> hindi mo, kahit anong halaga ng pera mo, hindi mo pwede yung iyan mo yan, sa kailor. Nagdasal pa rin ako, malay mo. No? Nagdasal pa rin ako sa chapel. <laughs> Sana matuloy. Na, naging successful yung operation, pero after three days, nag, ano siya, pag-gol siya, na-seizure, namatay. Nakikita ko pa, habang rin yung resuscitate siya, bumubukas yung tahi ng dibdib niya. No? And uh, the sad thing about it here is that after that, yung buong angkan, yung buong pamilya nag-aaway-aaway na tungkol doon sa mana niya, yung pera. Nag-thank God hindi ako kasama doon. Dinigtas pa rin ako ni Lord. Kasi ni Lord, pag ikaw, na, pati seminary mo, baka ma maritoke yan, ma yung mga sinasaybo mong pera, baka madimanda ka pa at na, sinuhulan mo yung ano, gano'n, maraming gano'n, hindi eh, ba? maipit ka pa sa mga kasamaan na, na magkano'n magbubunga doon sa kanyang kamatayan. Do not take your God. Lord, pasang mo lang ako dito sa exam na ito. Makapunta lang ako, makuha ako ng visa. Lord, kung mga gano'n nadasal natin, lalo din ang pagsisilpihan. Sabihin sa inyo, Lord, do not tempt me. Minsan tuloy, doon pa tayo magpupuruhan ni Lord. Ako rin, bilang isang pare, para akala mo, piling mo, maraming utang na loob sa iyo si Lord. Diba? Dahil pare ka, binigay mo ang buhay mo kay Lord. Hindi. Dahil lalo kong inisip, Lord. Kaya mo ba ako ikidlatan? Marami na akong pagkukulang. Kasi sa totoo naman, hindi po biro ang bukasyon na pagiging pare ngayon sa panahon na ito. Pwede pa, natutuwa nga po si Biolo eh. Umapel ng pare, hindi ko akalain, pati lang pala ng script niya. Pero aminin ko po sa, sa bawat isa sa atin, hindi ba ganun na yung sabi ito? Insan ang talino natin, ginagamit natin, either panglaban, pangsuhol, pangkondisyon kay Lord. No? Na hindi natin lang, baka si Lord ang may last say sa atin eh. Totoo naman yan, di ba ho? Tapos yung last temptation, because Jesus is the truth. Yun ang gusto ko sabihin sa inyo. Jesus is the way, Jesus is the truth, and He will live.
life. Anong ginawa ng demonyo sa kanya? Inagay siya doon sa ano, pinakita yung buong, ano, just worship me. I will give everything to you, pati siguro yung universe, pwede ko ibigay sa iyo. Just worship me. Sabi ni Jesus, you will only worship one God, and that God alone. No? Tapos mayas ka. It was the only measure of true worship is with the Lord. Minsan kasi di natin namamalayan, we become worshiping, worshippers of different things. Tumiti nga sa salamin, baka minu-worship mo sarili mo. Ang minu-worship mo yung kapangyarihan mo, minu-worship mo yung kasi that is where you you find the, the parang siya, culminating point of your relationships. And kaya para sa atin po, sinasabi ni Lord, life, your life should be only with God. And that from which we come to find truthfulness, fulfillment, and even success to go and stand against the devil. Bakit po? To stand against the devil is not just standing in one place at nakalagay doon, I believe in God. Standing in the devil, against the devil means you are little by little trying your very best to make choices in behalf of the Lord's will, in behalf of scriptures, in behalf of the teachings. Ang dami ko pong nakakausap ngayon, natulungkot ako dahil marami nang nagsasabing okay lang ang RHB. E malinaw na malinaw, hindi yun ang kalooban ng Diyos. To artificially give justification for our child not to be born to this world. Ito lang po minsan, dahil napakagaling natin at nasa modern times tayo and we build more of economics rather than morality, ang nangyayari po ngayon, hindi na po natin pwedeng sundin ang kalooban ng Diyos. Meron na tayong mga great compromising ano po, stands. Hindi po, hindi ka pwedeng mag-gray. Hindi ka pwedeng mag-lukewarm. Pag sinabi mo, this is and this will continue my choice one after the other. If I say to myself, I'm going to be a priest, hindi ako gagawa ng double life. And pray for me for that. Na after this, may ipagkita ako sa aking kulad dingding. <laughs> na ako mismo gagawa ng mga bagay na makakasira na o would give the wrong impression of my vocation. Nalungkod nga ako kasi si Piolo mali na yung binigay niyang impression. Malakas yun, ha? Na mas matindi ang pag-ibig niya sa kahit gaano ka-romantic yun. Sa amin, it's no or yes. Pag di mo kaya, umalis ka na nga. Pero pag ano mo, pag tinawag ka, tumuho ka. Kaya kahit sabihin nila, pagbigyan nyo na yung mga pare, hanyo na silang mag-asawa. Kayo ba, kaya? Kapa, hmm. hindi. Hindi <laughs> pa naman na ilog sa pare. <laughs> <laughs> Pero alam niyo po, aminin ko po, yeah, you have to make that conviction. Kahit sabihin, sabihin niyo po na ako'y mayabang masyadong hindi po. That's the same thing, that's the same thing goes. This is about God's will. In the, how the world acts with all these great justifications, nakakalungkot isipin po. Kaya nga sabi sa 1 Peter naman, di ba, be vigilant. The devil is like a prowling lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him. Be steadfast in your faith. Dahil sinasabi po sa bawat isa sa atin, if you do not, kasi later on gagamitin ng ano, consent, kunyari, I stand against the devil. Okay, I stand against the devil. So tingnan ng devil kung saan ka nakatayo. Hmm. O ito, may, may inaanay na dito sa pati ng ini-stan mo. Gagamitin ko yan. May cancer ka? Ako, sisirain ko faith mo dahil sa cancer mo. Ito, ito, ito. Ah, Worker ka sa church, ha? Worker ka sa community. Yung anak mo, lasinggero, drug addict, gagamitin ko yan. Ah, ito yan ba yung stand against the devil mo? Oh? Boyfriend mo? 
hindi mo madala sa ano, sige, sisirahin ko yung ano, relationship nyo. Dahil sa ano, alam ko, mas alam ko. Kaya if you know where you stand, then, only then. And you know what? Ito lang sabihin ko po sa inyo. Secret lang natin ito. Pero mas alam ng demonyo. Kung ano yung kasalanan mo, ano yung kasalanan mo, huwag kang magpapadala sa binubulong sa iyong discouragement. Huwag kang magpapadala sa binubulong sa iyo na frustration. Huwag kang magpapadala sinasabi na ikaw anak mo ganito, ganito, meron ka rin kasalanan, bakit ba tinatago mo pa yung kasalanan? Lahat tayo may skeletons in the closet. Di ba kayo ba sa mga dinosaur skeletons pa nga? Pero ito lang aaminin ko po sa inyo. Kaya nandunduan yung awa ng Diyos, yung divine mercy. Para sabihin mo, Lord, hindi para tumakbo ka sa kasalanan mo. Lumapit ka sa Diyos. Dahil may kasalanan nga tayo. At doon ka nga kapatawarin. Doon niya, doon niya sabihin sa'yo, hindi yan ang makakasira sa'yo. Dahil may pagpapatawad ako. I love you so much that I will forgive you over and over and over again so that you can continue to stand steadfast. Na hindi ka aali sa tinutungtungan mo. Kahit hindi inisinisira na yung balance mo, binawala na yung center mo, hindi ka aalis dyan. You will live the life I want you to live regardless of the contradictions. Regardless of all those tinatawag natin temptations. Nararamdaman niyo ba ko yun? Divine mercy. Huwag kang titinag. Pag sabi ko, Lord, kasi may kasalanan ako ganito, Divine mercy. Ikit ka pang mahal ng Diyos sa kasalanan mo. Kaya nga, love the sinner. Hate the sins. Kasi yun ang ginagamit ng demonyo. So, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, may I ask you just to sit up straight. No? Open your hands before the Lord and let us surrender this evening everything that we consistently come to feel as the obstacle that makes us all the more find ourselves lost to where we are. Because what God is asking us, simply lang po, love, to, to know, to love, and to serve the Lord. Today is what we know. To how we are is what we feel for the Lord. And what we expect to do. No matter how sometimes we fall, or sometimes we even find ourselves failing, we do not give in. We do not give up to the promptings of the evil one. Lord, thank you very much for your love. Thank you very much for allowing us to be filled by you in our moments of shortcoming, in our moments sometimes of, of dread, in the fears that we have, in the moments that we find ourselves sometimes contradicting and sometimes even feel that we are not worthy of you, O oh Lord. This from which we can only stand if we know the devil, how he works, how he says things, how he touches us, and how He leads us to that darkness in life. Lord, allow us to feel more and more of that redemptive presence by the gift of Your forgiveness, by the gift of You trying to heal us in our moments of aggressed wounds. And at the same time, Lord, we come to find ourselves resting day after day with You. As we come to this point, we come with thanksgiving and humility. Lord, we all know that all the evils in this world did not come from you. In death, in illness, in wars, in gulo sa pamilya namin, yung away, yung tampo, yung sama ng loob. Lord, hindi ikaw yun. Hindi ikaw yun nagbigay sa amin ng luha at kalungkutan. Ikaw yung nagbibigay sa amin upang iangat namin ang aming sarili by the power of your Holy Spirit. You are the one who touched us so warm that we can even feel that we are not alone. Lord, you 
you are the one that makes us all the more see ourselves for who we truly are, your image and likeness. Lord, we share to you this time the cross. May the cross be always one that is before us. The blessed sacrament on the cross, Jesus Christ. Lord, as he suffered so much with all the pain, with all the sweat and blood, with all this suffering that the Son of God had to endure, just to show us that in that moment of ugly human sinfulness, He can overcome, He can go above, He can resurrect, and He can prepare that heaven for all of us here. So Lord, may we go, go forward, and arrive to that moment of truth for which you show the way, for which we find ourselves with you in all eternity of life. And so we ask this, Lord, humbly, expecting nothing, Lord, but just simply, Lord, asking you to journey with us in giving, because everything we have and we hold comes from May we come to be a living, deserving, worthy gift to you. Because we know we love you. As you have always loved us so. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. May I ask you to please all rise. Make this last statement of this one last time. As you hold your heart, we come to profess and leave what we believe. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Father of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Together we embrace the Lord, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A blessed evening to each other.